If you are actively participating within the Tacoma real estate market and you're trying to sell your home or if you're trying to move from out of state and make this your new one, well, you may want to know there are some crazy things happening in the real estate market, especially here. So today we're going to talk about the certain segments of Tacoma that have the most momentum and are catapulting above the rest. Now, also, we're going to take a look at what prices are going to be in a couple months and why homes are selling so quickly. Before I hop into this video, if you are a returning viewer or for here for the first time, my name is George Rodriguez. I am a local Seattle Tacoma realtor and I help people buy and sell real estate. So let's get into it. Fortunately, this real estate market may be a struggle for you. For example, there are gonna be certain portions of people that will have a hard time winning due to the part of certain dynamics of tough competition in certain portions of Tacoma, such as New Tacoma, North Tacoma, Old Town, Proctor District, Stadium. Just the northern portion of Tacoma is a hotbed for strong competition competition. Now, the good reason for that is because it's a highly desirable area. And if you're going to be within the price points, in my personal opinion, of the 575 to around, if you can find something 640, that hot spot just to get into that area is going to be money for those that are trying to live with that certain portion of Tacoma. Now, if you happen to own a home in one of these top neighborhoods in the Tacoma area, you are going to be in a very good position whenever you decide to sell. In most cases, every time you do sell, you'll be receiving an over asking offer for your property. Now, in terms of the average median day of sale, to actually move your property, in most cases, it will take 10 to 15 days. Now, of course, you can go ahead and shoot high and say 30 if you want to put a little cloud over you. But in most cases, whenever you do decide to sell your property via the right marketing and the right preparation, you will be moving your property within two to three weeks. For example, some of the hot suburbs just to give you a good idea and some clarity you have university place old town proctor rustin the western and tacoma around narrows drive those are going to be some of the areas that if you own property in that portion you are going to have a very fun time selling your property because in most cases you're going to go pending within eight days imagine that eight days with an over asking offer of three to five percent that is a crazy return on your investment especially at in a time of high interest rates and you can only imagine when rates decide to actually come back down so with all that being said as a buyer it is extremely critical for you to understand that there could be a bidding war for a property that you happen to love when things start to pick up here in the summer months there could be times where you're seeing five other offers ten or even more oftentimes you realize that if you lost out on this home all the buyers that lost out go into the next home because there isn't much supply that really strikes the heart strings of a buyer now when you have that property honestly you realize you may love the home, but someone loves it more and throws an even crazier number out there because they're tired of losing on the previous couple of homes. I've been through that this year. It was not fun. In order to understand any real estate market, especially this one, you have to be very familiar with a term called months of inventory. Now with that, anything below a 2.5 is going to be considered a strong seller's market. Now I apologize up front for bringing some math back in your life because the tears and horrors are coming back. So how do you calculate this is going to be considered the following. It's going to be active listings divided by the closed listings of the previous month. So in the month of April of 2024, you had 616 active listings and you're going to divide that by 311 closed listings listings. Now with that, you're becoming with a total of 1.98. And this is going to be considered a extremely, extremely strong seller's market here in this area because there isn't enough inventory, honestly, to keep up with the demand of everyone wanting to own a home at a piece of real estate in the Tacoma area. When you're taking a look at months of inventory, sometimes you may want to take a look at it in a grander scale. And what I mean by that, for example, is that sometimes the city is going to be speaking differently in terms of what the county is feeling. Now in Tacoma, for example, it's located within Pierce County. Now with that, the Pierce County monthly inventory is looking at 1.978. Now for the math whizzes, you round that last one up, 1.98. So it's going to match exactly what Tacoma and the Pierce County is feeling together in terms of 1.98 in months of inventory. When you hear all this, it makes you wonder, well, George, it seems like Pierce County is a very strong seller's market. And I, honestly, I want a better chance to buy property with less competition. Well, you do have neighboring counties and we're going to go over a couple. For example, Seattle was going to be located in King County. King County has a month of inventory at 1.58. So it's even drastically lower from what Pierce County is feeling. Well, since that's even worse, let's see if we can go south. South is going to be Thurston County, where Olympia, where the state's capital is going to be located. Thurston County? has a current month of inventory at 1.91. So that's even lower than what Pierce County is feeling as well. So Pierce County, honestly, is your best opportunity to actually purchase property with less competition, hopefully. Kind of crazy when you think about it. Waiting for the buyer's market has only cost a lot of people more money because prices of homes continue to increase with just the normal appreciation that has always been common with real estate through the entirety. 
One thing that we must all pay a lot of attention to because it's critical is going to be the properties that are available for sale. And in comparison, there's only 893 properties for sale in Tacoma currently. Now, when we take that into retrospect, we must take a look at it on a year over year basis because when there is less homes for sale, it becomes a tighter crunch for all the buyers in the marketplace. Of course, it is good for sellers, but let's take a look and see why we have 9.3% more listings currently now in comparison to what it was last year. I personally have my thoughts and beliefs on what I believe is the reason for an increase in property is being available from last year to this year in this current place time. But before I give you my thoughts and beliefs, let's take a look at a little bit more data to kind of back up what I'm personally thinking. Now, when we're going into peak season, and that's going to be from April to I want to say July, August, because school is getting ready to be finished. So families can go ahead and move without worrying of changing their kids' school during the school year. Now, with that, we're taking a look how the increase has occurred from February to March, for example, we're, we're taking a look at a 5.5% increase in three bedroom properties going to be on the marketplace going from 365 to 385 respectively from February to March. Now there's going to be a biggest change coming in from the four to five bedrooms where it's up 10% for four bedrooms and for five bedrooms we have 18% increase on listings. Now the biggest thing I want you to pay attention to when it comes to the three bedroom properties is that is going to be the starter home size. Typically you're going to have to want to start your family within a three bedroom home because it also becomes into a good place of affordability where it gives you some time to grow your equity and grow your family to where you're going to need that four to five bedroom home. Now, of course, this is going to be a change in the market shift when it comes to the different types of generations, downsizing and also upsizing in terms of the needs of themselves and family. Now, to go back and check into why I personally believe things are changing in the marketplace, because we're now becoming more adapted to the current marketplace of interest rates and where we currently sit. In comparison to last year, we had the drastic change of when the Fed decides to actually uh, increase the rates dramatically each and every month. Now, of course, with that, less homes are going onto the marketplace and there was more market fear back then than there was now. As crazy as it sounds, this market then tends to run on fear and what is said into the media. And with that, when you become more accustomed to what real estate is in terms of how much you're paying and what your interest rate is going to be, honestly, you become more accustomed of what you're going to be paying for that property respectively. Even though we have more properties on the marketplace, it hasn't stopped anything in comparison to how fast they are moving off of the marketplace. In comparison, 71% of homes that go on the market receive their offer within the first 30 days. Now, when you go from 30 to 90 days, you have 16% and in the, the following of 90 or more, only 13% of homes receive their offer within that portion of time. So in, in comparison, if you go on with a good foot forward, you are going to receive your offer within 30 days, but more than likely the average day on market for the Tacoma area is actually 10 days until you receive your offer on your property. Now, there is a type of property that does sell a lot better in comparison to all the rest, no matter what the marketplace is. And in my personal opinion, it's going to be the Rambler. Reason being, you are going to be on one story and you don't have to deal with stairs. So that does open up the demographic to everyone, especially those who are trying to downsize and don't have the ability to deal with stairs as much. But to take that concept even further, a Rambler with a basement that hasn't or has been framed in that gives you even more square footage available. When you are in a Rambler, it is more expensive to build because you do have a wider span of square footage they have to build your foundation on in comparison to what you have in a two or three story properties where you can build up to the sky. Now, when you do have that concept, you now start to realize that if you have a Rambler, you may be sitting on gold and you may have the easiest ability to sell your property for more than what you think it's worth. One place that you can look at in terms of Tacoma is going to be the eastern portion of Tacoma, which is going to be the east side, or when you go south, getting close to Parkland, Spanaway. When you're in those areas, you're starting to get further away from this city of Tacoma. You do have more options in comparison if you're trying to win something. Now, of course, you can go even further into Thurston County, going into Lacey Olympia. Going further south will always give you a better opportunity to win a property because when you're going into the more populous areas, you're going to have more people, which tend to obviously have more people that are like-minded trying to purchase a property property just like you. So we did talk about the properties are a little bit easier to sell. So let's bring up the properties that are a little bit harder to sell. And to me, I have two that are a little bit harder in terms of the condominiums. Condominiums, in my personal opinion, are like glorified apartments. Sorry, no, no tax being done. But with that, a lot of people get turned off because of the HOA amount. Yes, it does bring in your overall, some portions of your insurance, maybe some of your utilities, but a lot of people get turned off because some HOAs can be five, seven, eight hundred dollars Now, also, you are going to be in a more confined 
online setting when you are in a condominium. So you do have basically a smaller demographic that wants to live just like that and they appreciate slower as well. Now, when we take a look at that, you are going to have these different types of properties if they're going to be too close to the freeway, it's too loud, you're on a main street. Or honestly, you just have too small of a lot. A lot of times some homes in Tacoma is probably higher on the central portion, getting close to downtown. Some of them have really small lot sizes and it's all house. Now with that, it doesn't turn off a lot of people, but when you're taking a look at when you're trying to purchase a home, a lot of people have their furry four-legged friends or they wanna have their kids play out in the, the backyard. A lot of times you're not gonna have that setting when you have too small of a lot or if you're too close to a freeway and it is too loud. So that's one thing that I've seen a lot of people complain about when it comes to purchasing property here in this area. It doesn't matter what year it is, everyone's gonna have their opinion of the real estate market. Now, of course, there's a lot of things being said about possibility of timing the marketplace, but for those that are trying to time the market, market, oftentimes you are going to be priced out when it comes to the normal appreciation every single year, which is typically 3.5%. Now, of course, think about it in three years, you've missed out on 10% of equity. And of course, everything is now 10% more. The ability of timing the market has created more losers than it has when actually being within the market. But of course, everyone has their own personal dynamic on what they believe is best for them. So you have to do what's best for you financially, but also mentally. I like to tell buyers that if you're not mentally ready, more than likely you will not be financially ready to proceed forward at home because no one else is going to pay the mortgage for you. So if you're on the fence on trying to purchase a property, the best way that you can put your best foot forward is to get your financial ready. And the best way for you to do that is to get in touch with a lender that can actually sort and see what you're going to be pre-approved for. Because if you're window shopping and having an idea on what you can actually afford, their sticker shock on what your monthly payment may be will probably drastically change what you're actually trying to purchase at the end of the day. Then when you have all of that together, you have to find a realtor that you believe has the best experience and ability for you to provide and get the best deal for you to proceed forward with purchasing a home that you love. And if you were thinking of selling or purchasing real estate here in the Seattle Tacoma area, I would love to be a resource. I spend so much time crunching numbers and seeing what our real estate market has to offer for the buyer and or sellers that I would love to be a resource. Speaking of me being a resource, my contact information is going to be on the screen here below. So do not hesitate to reach out when you have a chance. Thank you so much for watching this video and do not forget to leave a comment down below to let me know how you feel about this real estate market that we have here in this area. No matter where we decide to move and leave, we have to understand that there is going to be budgeting involved and understanding how much it's going to be when you're actually going to live here in Tacoma. And if you're wondering how much it's going to be, I have a video that explains cost of living in Tacoma to make it that much easier for you. It's going to be right here. Do not hesitate to click. I will meet you over there in the next video.